let's take a look at the number of ways and the probability and odds to get a straight flush in five card poker. So this is for simple five card draw poker where there are no extra cards and no community cards. You might want to watch our permutations and combinations tutorials first in order to fully understand the calculation. Disclaimer, we do not encourage gambling. Remember, the house always wins. Don't go away. First of all, what is a straight flush? Straight flush is when you have all cards the same suit and they are all in sequence. Okay, they're all in a consecutive sequence like 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack like we have here. You could also have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or you could also have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, some kind of a consecutive sequence like that. So how many ways can this be done? Well, first thing, you actually choose your suit first. There are four suits to choose from, 4C1. And now we actually have to choose the sequence. How many possible consecutive sequences are there? Let's take a look. Ace, two, three, four, five is one. Two, three, four, five, six is another. Three, four, five, six, seven is another. If we count all these up, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten consecutive sequences to choose from. So we're going to choose one of those. But actually, the ten to the ace is not a straight flush. That is a royal flush. So we're going to omit that. So we only actually have nine to choose from. So we choose one of those nine sequences, 9C1. Evaluating this, 4C1 is 4, 9C1 is 9, giving 36 hands. Let's take a look at the probability of a straight flush next. So we're going to take our 36, write it up here, but we'll leave it as 4 times 9 because we're going to cancel a whole bunch of stuff. So the probability, the number of total possible straight flushes divided by the total possible number of five card poker hands. This is 52C5. Dividing by this, it gets inverted and multiplied, and we're gonna cancel a 47 factorial leaving this in the bottom, which comes down to here. Here's our 36 down here, and our factorial five over here. Let's see what cancels. My old favorite first, four threes are 12, times four is 48, canceling with a 48 on the bottom. What else do we have? 5 times 2 is 10, cancelling with a 0 there, turning the 50 into a 5. What's left? 9, 51, my favourite. 17 times 3 is 51, so 3 goes into 51 17 times. 3 goes into 9 3 times. So this all boils down to 3 on the top, and on the bottom we've got a 52 times a 17, times a 5 times a 49. Multiplying that out, we get 3 over 216580. Oh. Upon doing that division and multiplying by 100, we get 0.0014%. Very, very, very rare indeed. Taking a look at the odds now, let's move over here. So for every 216,580 five-card poker hands, you can expect on average three of them to be straight flushes. Let's take these numbers here. So for every three straight flushes we get. Doing the subtraction here, we're going to end up with 216,577 hands that are not straight flushes on average. Dividing both of these by three, we get one over here and 72,192.3 on the left side. So we're talking in the magnitude 70,000 to one. Really, really rare. To put that in perspective, if you were going to play 20 hands of poker a week, you could expect to get a straight flush probably once every 70 years, once in a lifetime. So there you go, the number of possible straight flushes that can happen in five card poker and the probability and odds of it happening. Thanks for joining us.